are divided into two broad categories the shruti and the smritis the shruti means something which is revealed which is heard which is perceived which is understood the shrutis by the hindu scholars they are considered to be of divine origin to be the word of god and they are the most superior they are divided into the vedas and the upanishads the word veda is derived from sanskrit word vid which means knowledge so vedas means knowledge par excellence these are the holy vedas the most sacred and there are principally four vedas we have the rigved which deals with the songs of praises we have the yajurved which deals with the sacrifice formulas we have the samved which deals with melody and the atharva ved which deals with magical formulas vedas are the most authentic and the most sacred among the hindu scriptures and these vedas the exact date when they were written or when they were revealed is not known according to swami dayanand saraswati of arya samaj he says that the vedas are 1310 million years old but according to the majority of the scholars they say that the vedas are approximately 4000 years old the exact date is not known to whom it was revealed or who compiled it is not known where it came into existence in the first time in the world it's not known but yet the vedas are considered to be of divine origin the word of god and they are the most sacred amongst all the hindu scriptures next we have we have the upanishads there are more than 200 upanishads but our indian culture puts a figure of approximately 108 and there are some important upanishads some say 10 some say 12 some say 18 this upanishad which is translated by radha krishna he says there are 18 principal upanishads next we have the smritis smriti means memory that which is remembered and these smritis they are less authentic less sacred as compared to the shrutis the vedas and upanishads and they are not of divine origin the hindu scholars say they have been written by men for the guidance of the human being how a life should be led they are also referred as the dharma shastra among the smriti we have the itihas the epics we have the two great epics ramayan and mahabharat Ramayan is an epic which deals with the story of Sri Ram which most of us Indians we are aware of it then we have the Mahabharat Mahabharat talks about a feud between the cousins the Pandavas and the Kauravas it also deals with the story of Sri Krishna and all of us are aware about the story of Mahabharat then we have the bhagavad gita it is an advice given by shri krishna to arjun in the battlefield and it is a part of mahabharat it contains 18 chapter from the bhishma parva of mahabharat from chapter number 25 to chapter number 42 it contains totally 18 chapters next amongst the hindu scriptures we have the puranas we deal with the stories of that is the creation of the universe it is compiled into 18 voluminous parts by maharishi vyas and most important among the puranas is the bhavishya purana this is the bhavishya purana which talks about the future there are various other scriptures of the hindus we cannot name all another one is the manusmriti the laws of the hindus which were written by manu so in short these are the scriptures the books of hinduism but the major are the vedas 
if anything contradicts with the Vedas, the Vedas should be followed. They are the most sacred amongst all the Hindu scriptures and they are considered to be of divine origin. Let's discuss the books in Islam. It's mentioned in Surah Rath, chapter number 13, verse number 38. It says, وَلِكُلِّ أَجْلٍ kitab." In every age have we sent a revelation. There were several revelations sent by Almighty God on this earth. But the last and final revelation is the glorious Quran. And it is the most sacred amongst all the Islamic scriptures. It was revealed to the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 1400 years ago. It was revealed in Arabic. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Shuara, chapter number 26, verse number 196, that it is assuredly mentioned in the revealed books of the previous people. That means Quran is mentioned in the revealed books of all the previous people. The other sacred books are the authentic hadith, the traditions and the sayings of the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. These are supplemented to the Quran. They are a commentary of the Quran. They will never conflict with the Quran. They will never overrule the Quran. This is Sahih Bukhari, which is one of the authentic books, the sayings of the Prophet.